Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could download social amenities data from OpenStreetMap using QGIS. Each database has a lot of countries and a lot of data sets from railway systems, hospital locations, transportation networks, and all of that. So I'll show you how you can get these using the Quick OSM plugin. First, you install your plugin. Go to plugins, manage and install plugins. Make sure you have your network connection, internet connection turned on. On your search tab, search for quick OSM. And show you in all so that. So click OSM and then click on install. I already have mine installed, installed so it's showing here install. And then if you don't have it checked here, make sure to do that. And when you're done, you just close the window. To assess the plugin, you can use the button on the toolbar, the quick OSM button, or preferably you go to vector and you see the quick OSM has been added. And then click on quick OSM. Okay, so how this works is you write in a query in the key in the key um, field and then in the value field. For example, you want to download look um commercial buildings in United States. So in your key field, you go to buildings or you can type it building and then you go to, you can click on the drop down to see the kind of buildings you see apartment buildings, commercial entrance, farm, garage, industrial. So you click on commercial and then Okay, first, if you do not know which field you are supposed to work with, for example, you want to get data set of gardens in the United States or in Nigeria, you can click on the help with key and value. It opens on your browser window. It opens the quick OSM homepage. S scroll down to getting help, help about OSM keys and values. On this page, you can search for each value, each data set you want to find out which tag that it works with. Remember, we are talking about gardens, right? Gardens. So on the search tab here, let's type gardens. Enter. Now you see the tag here as leisure garden. You can open it. So this means that the key for the tag is leisure and then the value garden. You can see there are other leisure locations, other leisure um, data that are other leisure values like park, allotments, if we click on leisure itself, here is another interesting part of it. If you search for a particular key, say leisure or buildings or social amenities, you scroll down to it, you see a table of values showing the values and then comments describing how that data was collected and what that data, what that location actually means. And then pictures if you do not know exactly what you're working with and all of that so just play around with it and be sure of what you want in this um for this um, exercise let's work with healthcare data sets i want to get hospitals so under healthcare 
you search for hospital maybe you also need pharmacies you click on the ads to add a query again healthcare and then pharmacy so you you can add more queries you can delete queries from your values here you can also change this to and or all depending on what you want i want both so i select and now for the the in field around and all of this the in means um healthcare locations hospital locations in okay let's in a defined location see in nigeria hospital locations in nigeria around let's say you have a particular hotel that you're working with and you want hospital locations around 1000 meters of that location so within the 1000 meter radius of your defined location the location which you define here that data will be downloaded for you while canvas extent canvas extent has to do with your presets um osm osm your presets um qgis window be sure to have at least one data visualized here because otherwise you get a an error message so it, your canvas extent for this one now will download since i have for nigeria here to download every every hospital location within the qgis window for your layer extent layer extent depends on the layers which you have in your qgis um, data for this i have one boundary data set here for nigeria so if you have more than that you use the drop down to select which layers you want to download so that's that for now i just want to download okay let's stick with the layer ex extent then on the advanced drop down we are downloading hospital locations pharmacy locations it's going to be points probably it's not going to be lines so you select which geometry more likely applies nodes no we no then to save it in the directory if you do not do this it saves in a temporary file i'll also show you how to convert from a temporary file to a regular file but to save yourself the stress you can save it to your preferred directory select the folder not the name select the folder and then here you can add in the name which you want call it special underscore data hub and then you can select the um file format jpackage jjson shape file or a kml file when you are done with all the settings click on run query successful query but no results so if you have this error of successful queries but no results it simply means for example the one which i tried here hospitals and pharmacy in nigeria successful query but no results simply means your query is right but osm does not have your answer in its database so let's remove the pharmacies and try it if it works we can still stick to the canvas extent okay layer extent and the layer which we ran for and then run depending on your network speed and 
the size of the database which you are downloading the data which you are downloading then that determines how much time it takes so it has run successfully this time i didn't filter out the advanced section or any of these things so we'll just do it manually when here all right so here we have the location of hospitals in nigeria so all it simply means there is no database for pharmacy locations in nigeria so we could if you want to save this layer this is the important layer here the um points if you want to save the layer to a permanent layer this is saved as a temporary file you can right click on it and export you see save feature as and then you select which file format you want you can stick with the shape file you click on the three dots here to select the directory which you want to save it in and then enter the name you can change the coordinate reference system the encoding and all of that or we'll leave as default and then add, add save file to map click on ok and you are good you could also work on this a bit double click on it On this page you can change the symbology you can change the symbology this is the more reason why i wanted to get pharmacy locations and um hospital locations first you could also um, check out the attributes table to see what the data set looks like So it has the default IDs and then the health kit. There are a lot of null data here on field, but see one interesting part. It has names and then it has a category to shape its primary health care or health posts. We could use that to categorize our data set and then so let's just work with that so double click we can go to symbology rather than single symbol set it to categorized set the value to um Was that category classify you have general hospital you have health post you have health center primary health clinic so it gives different ids which you can also edit its in individual symbologies to be better identified you can uncheck them if you just want to find the location of general hospitals health and health post versus health, health post and all of that you can check you can add labels to your data sets single labels you edit the value to select which value you want probably the name if these were roads or polygons it would have been a lot more interesting data to analyze here so you can set it at name and then so that each name of the name of each hospital is shown you can edit all of this and apply click on ok so here you have it you can always work on this to make it neater so you can check my OpenStreetMap playlist for different data types which can be downloaded from the OpenStreetMap database. Thank you and see you in the next video.